ask Tom on home show. Mark from Northwest Houston has a question about getting some mold relief. But it's in their upstairs bedrooms and bathroom between the bedrooms, Tom. Wow. Mark writes, we, we had the second floor stripped down to the studs, the AC replaced, and the mold, but the mold returned, he says. We went through tearing out walls a second time, replacing cabinets again, siding replaced, and had a special ductwork installation done in the chase area, dehumidifier added, and zones for the AC. The mold count is going up again. We have tried everything we know, and we are desperate for a solution. Tom, can you offer them one? I don't know why you're getting so much mold. There's an obvious problem somewhere, and it sounds like you're just going in the direction of the air conditioning system to cure your problem. That's usually not what cures your problem. Sometimes they can cause the problem, but they usually don't cure the problem. They just keep it from coming uh, and having a problem. Uh, something is going on where you're getting a high humidity. My question to them would be, what's your relative humidity in the home? How is your insulation package uh, put together? Do you have spray foam throughout the house? That would be a real uh, red flag to me, and I wouldn't doubt, and I'm not able to ask them that question. If they do, that's probably the issue. So there could be other issues, but the one thing I can comment about the way this was written it doesn't sound like it's an AC problem, and I don't want you to keep dumping money into all that expensive equipment because obviously it's not working. We have to do an invest investigation somewhere else. So that's what I would tell you to look at, and I suspect there's going to be some underlying insulation details that are causing the problem. Mm, yeah, like you said, foam could... This is definitely an example of what can happen we're not saying they have yes. foam but this is an example of what what foam can happen what can happen yes. with foam um, in certain in some, parts of the country not in other parts sure. no but right. you know houston area but and whatnot yes in the yes. houston area yes for, for sure time. and and i and, and i guess this is a classic example of where there really is mold as opposed to a lot of times people come in mold and it's really just mildew how can you tell the difference well, you can have it tested if you want, but mold will grow on cellulose. So they open up the walls, they see it in the walls, they see it on the back of the sheetrock. There you go. And if it's there, you have to remove that stuff or you have to treat, especially the structure, it has to be treated specifically with uh, mold inhibitors and then painted so the mold spores that are in the wood don't get reactivated. And you can do that with pigmented shellac or aluminum paint. There's different products used. A lot of those products were used after Hurricane Harvey here in the Houston area to eliminate or to prevent a lot of these problems from happening. So that's what I would tell them to take a look at. And you could have a test testing facilities that will measure the mold in the home, outside of the home, and they will not only tell you that it's higher in the house, which is the problem, than outside, but they'll tell you if it's Stachybacterus or Penicillium or the dangerous ones, and they'll tell you levels of each. Got a question? No matter what level you're talking about, Tom will be on the level with you. Click on the Ask Tom button, eh? And uh, send us your question along with pictures and anything else to help us. Tom wants to put a new one of these up every day, and you can help us by sending questions. The need has never been greater. And we'll post them at homeshowradio.com, our YouTube channel. Of course, you'll find them on our Facebook page, too.